Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. Sunnah Revival by Sheikh Mu'iz Bukhari Sunan Relating to Traveling Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, this is Mu'iz Bukhari, recording for the Daily Reminder Network. For this episode and the following one, insha'Allah, we will be discussing about the sunan and etiquettes of traveling. For after all, travel is just something amazing. It is something that broadens the mind of an individual and opens it up to learning. As somebody once said, the world is a book and those who do not travel have read only a page from that book. Travel brings about an appreciation for the different cultures that are prevalent globally. Furthermore, it gives a completely different dimension to history. It improves one's knowledge of world geography and it makes an individual more open-minded as it broadens one's horizons. It is indeed a great blessing from our Maker Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon the children of Adam. And our religion, which is complete in every sense, in every sense, has laid down beautiful etiquettes and sunan in regard to travel. Let's start off with the supplication taught to us by the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ibn Umar radiallahu anhuma, he narrates, and the hadith is in Muslim, when the Prophet peace be upon him climbed on his camel to travel, and in our case it would be our modes of conveyance, he would say, Allahu Akbar thrice. He would say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And then he would go on to read, Subhanalladhi sakhara lana hadha wa ma kunna lahu muqrineen. وَإِنَّا إِلَىٰ رَبِّنَا لَمُنْقَلِبُونَ And then he would go on to supplicate, Allahumma inna nas'aluka fi safarina hadha al-birra wa taqwa wa min al-amali ma tarda. Allahumma hawwin alayna safarana hadha wa tubi'anna bu'dah. Allahumma anta al-sahibu fi al-safar wa al-khalifatu fi al-ahl. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min wa'tha al-safar wa ka'abati al-mandar wa su'i al-munqalabi fi al-mali wa al-ahl. Now let me translate what I just said. Subhana alladhi sakhara lana hadha wa ma kunna lahu muqrineen wa inna ila rabbina lamunqalibun. Glory be to him. Glory be to him who has provided this for us though we could never have had it by our own efforts. Surely unto our Lord we are returning. And then the next supplication, O oh Allah, we ask you on this our journey for goodness and piety and for deeds that are pleasing to you. O oh Allah, lighten this journey for us and make its distance short and easy for us. O oh Allah, you are our companion on the road and you are the one in whose care we leave our family. O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from this journey's hardships and from the wicked and evil sights in store and from finding our family and property in misfortune upon returning. And on the way back from his journey, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would read the same supplications, but then he would add a small part. Aibuna ta'ibuna abiduna li rabbina hamidun. We return repentant to our Lord, worshipping our Lord and praising our Lord. Next on the list, in accordance with the narration of Ka'b ibn Malik radiallahu an, which has been recorded in the book of Imam al-Bukhari, is that the Prophet, peace be upon him, generally set out on journeys on Yawm al-Khamis, on Thursday. The next sunnah in line is that he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would bid farewell to his family and loved ones. We must be very careful that we leave our loved ones always with loving and caring words, for that may be the last time we see them. The final sunnah for this episode, which has been recorded once again in the book of Imam al-Bukhari, is that during the journeys of the Prophet wasallam, when the Prophet, peace be upon him, climbed up a hill, whenever he went uphill, he would say takbir, he would say Allahu Akbar. And when he went down into a valley, when he, whenever he went downhill, he would say, he would make tasbih, he would say subhanallah. Now scholars, rahimahumullah, explain, 
That is because the one who is above a thing may feel proud and think that he is great. So it is appropriate for him to proclaim the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah azza wa jal be glorified and exalted by saying Allahu Akbar. And when he descends, he is going down to a lower level. So it is upon him, it is appropriate for him to glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May he be glorified and exalted by saying Subhanallah. With that, we conclude today's episode. Please do not forget to share this video around as much as possible to inspire an amazing Sunnah revival. And I look forward to catching you all next Wednesday only on the Daily Reminder Network. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Support the Dawah. Donate now. Go to thedailyreminder.org slash donate.